This is the period that I was talking about earlier in the year when I said uh, when we get to late August or October, we're, we're at the beginning of what they call the dark side of the moon cycle, which brings a lot of controversy and conflicts and a lot of confusion uh, to our situations. And all of a sudden, late August or October came, and uh, and uh, this war in Russia is escalating, and uh, Putin announced that he has this new weapon where he's making small nuclear weapons, and he's planning on firing them uh, at people and missiles, and all of a sudden, uh, the alliances, which I talked about, in uh, late March through April of the year, beginning of the year, when I did the video on uh, Putin's plans for war, uh, and I said, I warned of a country with an I initial that he uh, would be in alignment with, uh, and they have a, an agreement. Uh, 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 without saying it, you know, it has to be Iran or Iraq. Uh, and all of a sudden, Iran is supplying Russia with missiles and drones, and you, you can see it's all beginning. We're in a very dangerous period of time. And I warned about this uh, a while ago. I said that this was something that was about to happen. And I said he made some alliances uh, with people, some agreements silently. Uh, he had a plan. And I, I really don't think China would be too involved with Russia. Russia's and Putin is, is too much of a loose cannon for China. China's a very smart country. It's a country that plans things. They don't uh, have a lot of spontaneity. They have mostly planning. And uh, would like the great leap forward with that, which brought China into the modern world. And... The United States and China have a very advantageous agreement. We buy a lot of things from China. They've enjoyed our manufacturing and technology, which was handed to them, and they prospered as a result. And the world has prospered as a result of the United States' technology. People like Tesla and Edison and the inventions that the United States had, the uh, Apple phone, Silicon Valley, and, and we spread the uh, intelligence and the inventions and, and the modern uh, retooling of the world to the rest of the world when they outsourced manufacturing and they brought the technology all over the world. and. Uh, the rest of the world's enjoying the cell phones and the technology that was developed here. Uh, I don't think China hates the United States. They, the United States, in a way, was their benefactor. We borrowed money from China, from their business people. Uh, they, we, they bought bonds from us and so forth. And uh, the, they did uh, got all this manufacturing from the United States, and it brought them into an advantageous financial situation. Ultimately, in the world, the two competing factions will be the sleeping giant, which is India, uh, East India, and China. And the United States, I don't think, will be the number one power looking into the future. I think it will be a, a country that nobody wants to particularly mess with or conflict with, but they won't be the number one. I believe that China will be. And I think the biggest competition for China will be East India, which is a very cloistered country that's enjoyed the technology. It's developing and it has the largest middle class in the world. And, uh, they're like a sleeping giant at this point, but uh, India and China have always been natural enemies, the way Russia and Germany uh, are, uh, were and are. And uh, the biggest conflicts the United States had was the uh, Arab type of countries because of oil and the 
trying to get the acquisition of oil, which I had done videos on this. And uh, the biggest problem with oil is not cars, it's plastics, which if you go back to my videos, that's what I was saying, that the conflict is that you need, everything's made out of plastic and uh, for everything from a toothbrush to a toilet seat to asphalt to tires are made out of petroleum products and even a credit card that you have in your hand is made out of an oil product. So that's why oil was so important. And uh, the United States did some unholy things in the uh, Mideast, uh, the Arab countries, and uh, it was and and another mistake that the United States made was that they outsourced all our technology uh, to the rest of the world, but it helped the world. The United States absolutely, with the technology and the outsourcing, developed and helped the rest of the world. If they didn't outsource our technology to the rest of the world, uh, the United States would have been untouchable. But the politicians uh, allowed the CEOs to outsource our technology and our manufacturing to the rest of the world it developed the rest of the world, but it, it uh, debilitated this country. It limited this country to the point where we can't really compete properly with, with other countries that developed and used our technology in our manufacturing. China was, a, 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 it was a, the result of really, uh, modern China is really the result of uh, the United States outsourcing uh, its manufacturing and, and we purchase things from China and we're the biggest trading partner, but there's, I think, a $350 billion deficiency from the United, uh, on China's benefit in the United States is Deb. Uh, so the point is that the, the United States has in a way benefited the whole world, and probably not the Arab countries so much because of the oil conflicts. But uh, the the United States won't be number one in the future. It will, in my opinion, be China. But right now, getting back to Russia, I think the situation is escalating. And the dark side of the moon it really starts from late August uh, through October of 2022 through all of 2023. And uh, I think it's a period that we have to watch everything. Uh, the conflicts can go way out of uh, hand.